What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. It's time to continue my 2023 schedule preview and projected records for the 2023 college football season. And we continue them with the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Here was a schedule last year for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. The overall record for this team going 7-6 overall in 2022 and 7-5 in the regular season. So, a kind of an up and down year for this Oklahoma State team. Uh, you look at who they played in the non-conference. They played Central Michigan, Arizona State, and University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. So uh, they didn't have too tough of a non-conference schedule. Uh, Central Michigan, Arizona State on that schedule. Arizona State ended up being their toughest non-conference game. We thought they, that was going to be a tough one, but... You know, Arizona State did not turn out to be as good as we think they were going to be in my predictions from last year. And you look at who they lost in the Big 12. They lost to TCU. Of course, they were a good team. Kansas State, Kansas, they lost those games in back-to-back -back row games. And then Oklahoma, they lost to them on the road. And they also lost to West Virginia at home. Uh, that's a game they probably could have won. This team probably could have finished 8-4 and four, uh, last year in the regular season. And they only won one road game. That's really only the road game they won, and that was Baylor on October the 1st. So it was a pretty, you know, up and down year for this Oklahoma State team. Uh, will this kind of be the same way for them heading into 2023? Let's look at the schedule now for 2023. Here's the schedule for Oklahoma State, and you look at who they'll play in the non-conference. They'll play Central Arkansas. Arizona State on the road. Um, he'll play them again this year, and this time it will be a road game. Uh, that one will be on September the 9th, so, and then they'll play South Alabama. So the non-conference schedule is kind of similar to last year. You know, of course, Arizona State will be their toughest non-conference game there. Um, again, they're, you know, they're, we know they're going to be playing every single Big 12 team on this schedule, so let's go game by game now for this Oklahoma State team. So they'll start the season off with three non-conference games here in the month of September. Uh, they'll play Central Arkansas here on September the 2nd. Then they'll play Arizona State on the road on September 9th. And then they'll play South Alabama here on September the 16th. Then they'll play Iowa State here on September the 23rd. So you got four games here in the month of September. Um, you know, they'll get a bye week rather early after that Iowa State game. Then they'll play Kansas State here on a weeknight game. Um, it's kind of a good spot for a bye week if you're an Oklahoma State fan. Of course, Kansas State being the defending Big 12 champions, uh, there's a really good chance that maybe Oklahoma State could start out maybe 5-0 and on the year. But then they'll play Kansas here at home on October the 14th. So, Really, you got two straight ro um, home games here uh, to two teams that you lost last year. And then they'll play West Virginia on the road on October the 21st. That's a team that they lost to last year. And then they'll play the newcomer of Cincinnati here on October the 28th. Uh, that'll be a home game for them. Then they'll play rival Oklahoma at home on November the 4th. That's going to be a pretty interesting back-and-forth game there. It's always a pretty good rival game there in the month of November. Then they'll play back-to-back -back row games here with UCF and Houston, two newcomers in the Big 12. Um, this one is a pretty interesting back-to-back -back row games. Of course, you know they weren't in the you know in the conference last year, so this will be a tough back-to-back -to -back row game here uh, against UCF and Houston. And then they'll end things out here with BYU. So they get all the newcomers in the Big 12 this year. Cincinnati, UCF, Houston, and then of course BYU. They'll get all the newcomers in the Big 12 this year. So really the schedule is not all too tough for this Oklahoma State team. Uh, most of their games are at home with Kansas State and Oklahoma. You at least get them at home. Uh, you have to play on the road at Iowa State and West Virginia. Teams that were not good last year. I mean, UCF and Houston will be tough games, but this schedule, I think, really sets up nicely for Oklahoma State to have a really good season. But this is a projection based on this schedule. Let's get, now get to the projection projected record for this Oklahoma State team. And this is the scale I use for my projection. It's a 1% game. Uh, these are games where Oklahoma State has no chance of winning in. 20%, there'll be about a couple touchdowns of underdogs. 40% in the yellow. These are games where Oklahoma is going to be a heavy underdog in. 50-50 games, these will stay in the white. Games where they can go either way. 60% in the purple. Uh, these are games where Oklahoma State is going to be favored by about a touchdown. 80% in the blue. These are games where Oklahoma State is going to be favored by a couple touchdowns, like double digits. The 90% games. These are the easy wins for Oklahoma State. Uh, we always start with the easy wins here on these projections. So let's start with the easy wins for Oklahoma State. I think you got two of those on the schedule, Central Arkansas and South Alabama. I think they really should take care of business in both of these games. Uh, they have no business to lose both of these games at home. 
And it would be a really big shock if so, if they lose some of the, like one of those two games. Like for example, you know South Alabama is a pretty you know good program, but you know I think you know Oklahoma State should take care of business in both of those games. Like I said, the non-conference schedule is kind of similar to last year, so it's not all that tough. But you know Arizona State is on the schedule, and really that brings us to my next um, percentage. Um, we don't have any blue games here on this schedule for Oklahoma State. Um, I do got purple games though. That's Arizona State and Iowa State and West Virginia all on the road. Look, I know Iowa State, or actually West Virginia beat Oklahoma State last year. That should be a 50-50 game, but I'm going to stick with it and put it in the purple just based off of where these teams were from last year. And all three of these teams that they're playing on the road, they weren't good last year, so that's why i got to put them in the purple. But it could switch to 50-50 games by the time we do those predictions in the month of May. So those are still to come in a couple months. Um, we're still, you know, getting to know about these rosters a little bit heading into 2023. Spring practices are rolling around. So I think, you know, all three of these games, I think you can favor by Oklahoma State by at least a touchdown in all three of these games. And let's now go to the games where Oklahoma State's going to be an underdog in. I don't have any red or orange games on the schedule, but I do have a yellow game on the schedule. And really, that's Kansas State. I think, you know, this is the only yellow game I see on this schedule for Oklahoma State, being a heavy underdog. I think they do have a pretty good shot to win, but based off of where Kansas State was last year, I think this is really close to being a 50-50 game. But, you know, they won the Big 12 championship last year. So this is a, you know, this is how it came out to be. You know, it really came out to be a yellow game. And another good thing about this schedule is you don't have to play – uh, Baylor on this schedule. You don't have to play TCU, and really the only the toughest um, game, you know, games that they have to play at home are Kansas State and Oklahoma. So, yeah, basically, I think this schedule really sets up nicely for Oklahoma State to have a really good winning season. But I know they lost a lot of talent from last year. They lost so many guys in the transfer portal, and the rest of the games here for Oklahoma State, Kansas, Cincinnati, Oklahoma, UCF, and Houston, and BYU are all 50-50 games. I think these games can go either way. Uh, Candace, obviously, they lost to them last year. Uh, that team has a lot of production coming back, but at least they get this one at home. Cincinnati, obviously, we don't know how good they're going to be in this conference. Oklahoma, that's a rival game you never know. Same thing with UCF and Houston. We don't know how good they're going to be in this conference. And then BYU, the same thing. But I think all these games... They can go either way. I think, you know, based off of where Oklahoma State was last year, I can put all these games in the 50-50 category. So uh, what's the overall projected record for this team? Let's now get to it. This is simply a projection based on this schedule. It's not my official prediction. So if you look at the schedule that Oklahoma State's favored in and also the games that they are underdogs in, including that one game against Kansas State, and if you count all the 50-50 games, you get an overall projected record for this Oklahoma State team at 9 and 3 for 2023. I think 9 and 3 is pretty close to a, you know, fair projection because of how the schedule sets up. I mean, 9 and 3 is, you know, not possible, but you know, 8 and 4 is probably possible, but this is a good there's a good chance that this Oklahoma State team probably goes 7 and 5 or maybe 6 and 6. You know, I think worst case scenario will probably be like 7 and 5, 8 and 4 is big or you know, maybe 8 and 4 is worst case scenario. And then 10 and 2 is probably the best case scenario. But I think this is how it sets up. I think with all, you know, you know, with this schedule, you don't have to play Baylor or TCU on the schedule. That really sets up well for them. And I think this is a pretty easy schedule for Oklahoma State heading into 2023 based off of where they were last year. And of course, based off of where these teams were last year. But this could change by the time you do those predictions in the month of May. But as of right now, the overall projected record comes out to 9 and 3. Uh, let me guys know what you think about this Oklahoma State team down in the comments below and stay tuned here for more sports content on the lucas ross sports channel